Uh, now, he's a man on a mission to help Australia's homeless and he takes generosity to a whole new level. My name's Alan Clark. Um, I'm 66 years old now and um, I like to help people. Alan is not your average retiree. The Oxford scholar and ex-lawyer has committed the rest of his life to helping the homeless. I hate the thought of anybody being hungry. I went through a divorce uh, 17 years ago and for me that was the window of opportunity. On a crusade to help those less fortunate, Alan founded Street Mission in 98. They offer free meals, clothing and an ear to some of Sydney's most marginalised people. It's run by a team of 100 volunteers and since it opened, they've dished out more than 60,000 hot meals. They put on a good feed. That's, that's, that's one of the best things about it. Alan, he's a good bloke. He's a champion. Everybody's got a story, you know, and, and, and listening to the stories, it, it makes you realise just how close all of us are to, to being in that position. To fund his commitment to the poor, Alan drives an Uber taxi whenever he can. Hi, Luke, how are you? Seemed like a great idea because uh, I love to drive and I love to talk to people. Driving for Uber for me is completely voluntary. I donate my time and my car, and any money that, that, that is generated goes directly into the Street Mission account. Alan's generosity is ab unbelievable. Uh, if there are more people like him, this, this world would be a. Uh... A lot more fun. Niall Owers was a passenger when he and Alan got chatty. About four weeks ago, a young chap I met in an Uber cab, he wanted to be a volunteer. I thought it was an amazing thing, so got his details, sent myself an email so I wouldn't forget the next day because I'd had a few drinks. And about a week later, I was doing a Saturday night shift. But being at the coalface of Australia's homeless scene has opened Alan's eyes to the current crisis. Most people are pensioners, uh, single mums, uh, people are unemployed. I think what we do is probably the easy part. The, the difficult part is to is provide them with safe housing, affordable housing and employment. There's good community and it's good just to help people around who's struggling. A bit of rice for you. But being so close to those in need hasn't always been easy. There was one case, one heartbreaking case. There was a, a young lady who, who we helped and then she uh, overdosed and she died. And that, that's the hardest, the hardest time. When you put a lot of effort in and you have high hopes and in the dashed. Before street mission and driving cabs, Alan was a lifeline counsellor. He also donates money to a Sherpa community in Nepal. It's hard to think that this humble retiree is worthy of anything less than a knighthood. I have a community service award. I have my Casio watch as a fifth, for 15 years on street mission. Put the rewards in here. In the world. I'd be happy with any one of his contributions. Oh, hi. Yeah. And, yeah. Incredible. Unbelievable. Um, if you are interested in donating to or even volunteering at Street Mission, you can. You can find all the details on our website. Also, I want to point something out. Mm. Uh, some of the music that you heard in that piece was written by an incredibly talented young student by the name of Mitch Callahan, who sadly, very sadly, is no longer with us. Our thoughts are with his family and friends as they remember him this weekend. And he's seriously talented, or he was. Time for a break now. Stick around. Lots more of the project on the way.